Eric, I can't believe this is happening. The world's largest hackathon, May 30th to June, June 30th. Yeah. Full, a full month, a full month of building. It's going <laughs> to Gonna, gonna be insane. So you can actually build some real stuff during this thing. You know, this is not just like a one day shebang. You know, build stuff and people are gonna get stuff. Giving away over a million dollars in prizes, right? Oh yeah, yep, over a million dollars in cash prizes. Um, I, I think it's one of the biggest uh, prize pools ever. And that's a, that's just like the prizes. There's also like uh, every participant's getting hundreds or maybe even thousands of dollars of free things like a free domain name uh that we're giving away free bolt a uh, whole bunch of other stuff as well but yeah the i mean the prize pool is huge like the first uh first place out of the million dollar prize pool i think it's like a hundred thousand dollars in the first place uh second place gets seventy five thousand. Third place gets fifty thousand. all the way down to 10th place um which i, I think it ranges from a hundred thousand to ten thousand for the for the top 10. um so this is like meaningful cash that you can actually uh, win as part of this thing. So if you have an idea for, you know, an app or like a startup you want to do, I mean, this is, this is basically free seed funding. If you win, uh, that's non-dilutive, no equity, right? Um, doesn't, doesn't, doesn't get better than that. Can you walk me through some of the categories um, that you guys whipped up? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so we have like the top 10, which is just, you know, that's like the, you know, based on the, um, you know, just general ranking of, you know, what the, the judges felt were like the coolest apps or whatever have you. Um, there's also like regional highlights. So uh, if you're in America, APAC or, uh, you know, America, uh, Europe, Americas, et cetera. Um, so then uh, outside of that stuff, then there's kind of some fun ones, which is like, there's like the most beautiful UI awards. Um, you know, like a future unicorn, like which app is going to be, you know, likely to be the, the next billion dollar company or whatever have you. Um, most viral project is another one. So like if you launch something, it goes super viral. Um, you know, that's a category as well. And, um, inspirational story is another one. So if you have a, you know, really inspiring backstory to like why you're building what you're building, um, and just like, if you're just an inspirational person yourself, like that's, uh, that is a category. So it's kind of fun because it's not just purely based on, okay, what's the top ranked, you know, stuff. It's also, Kind of fun categories that dive, you know, not just into like the products themselves, but also like the the people behind them, you know. Yeah, my my take on it is, of course, the money is sexy. Let's you know, let's be real. Like a hundred grand here, checks of ten grand here, twenty five grand here. That's awesome. But I think a lot of us are sitting on the sideline with this whole AI wave, and they might be watching tutorials like people like me. And sometimes you need a forcing function to actually get your hands dirty, to learn about, okay, how can I use, for example, Bolt to actually build something? How do I, what happens when users come? How do I iterate from here? You know, and it, it having a 30 day window, at, you're gonna come out of this just way more sophisticated about using, you know, AI to build out your ideas, right? Absolutely. Yeah. It's basically you're, you're getting paid to learn effectively, right? Like that's like, that's the, and, and, and then you're, you know, from the tools you're getting, it's like completely free. Whereas normally you would have to spend hundreds of dollars on your own going and doing this, but then you also have experts that are helping during the thing, like teaching folks. Um, and then of course, if you build something amazing, you have the shot of actually winning these like really large prizes. Right. Um, and so it's kind of, it's, it's fun to be able to do something that's just, uh, you know, purely good vibes and, and good intentions all around, right? Where it's just educating folks on how to actually use AI to, to build amazing products and tools, you know? I saw on X that this might be the world's largest hackathon. <laughs> I, that's, that, that is what we're shooting for. That is what we're, we're shooting for. Um, yeah, Guinness World Records is, is officially, uh, this is an officially sanctioned Guinness World Record uh, attempt, actually. So they have like a, a judge or you know, a person that's, you know, uh, validating it and whatever have you. But the, the current world record that we'd have to beat is like 50,000 people. And uh, as it stands, we haven't even started this thing yet. And it's at 42,000 people registered for the hackathon. So I think, you know, knock on wood, I think, I think, I think we're going to set a world record here. Um, I, I think we're going to have, I think we have a, a, a way more people during the actual hackathon itself signing up as well. So this is gonna be big. I mean, this is actually this is like legitimately, we're actually set in history here, you know. Um, and again, it's 
you, you couldn't have done a hackathon this big before like what's happening with with AI. Um, it's enabling so many more people to, to participate in building stuff uh, over an event like this than could have ever before, right? And so, yeah, I, I'm, I'm excited to see how big this thing gets because this is uh, like truly a, a, the more the merrier sort of situation, you know? I'm excited to see how big it, it could get. I'm also honestly more excited about seeing people like I think that this hackathon is going to change the lives of thousands because thousands of people are going to go through this. Maybe it's 5,000. 5,000 people are going to go through this uh, hackathon and at the other end of it, they're going to be like, wow, I had a light bulb moment. I can go and build a business. I can go build a SaaS. I can go build a mobile app. I understand how to get customers. I understand design. I understand UI. You know, I met a co-founder. There's just going to be you know, light bulb, light bulb, light bulb, light bulb. And those people who take the hackathon seriously and treat this almost like a job, um, put it in their calendar every day. I'm going to work on this for two hours. Um, you know, I encourage people actually, if, you know, if I was joining this, I would create like almost like a hackathon journal every single day. What is something, what is the one thing that you learned today? That's a great idea. That's an excellent idea. Yeah. Yeah, because that's that's what it's all about. I mean, this is, it's yeah, it's such a unique opportunity that you you know to really to really you know savor and take advantage of every moment of it. It's, it that is an awesome idea. I love it. Totally agree. The the coolest thing is just gonna be how this is gonna change the lives of thousands of people. And one of the things I've been really interested uh, to make sure that we there's some way for us to hear about the stories of all these people that are part of the hackathon, right? And uh, so you know, Greg, you and your team. Uh, cooked up uh, to me was the most one of the most novel and cool and exciting things I've ever heard for a hackathon ever. Um, so t- tell me about this. How, tell me about how we're going to be hearing about the stories of different folks. Well, what we're doing is we're creating a documentary on this whole AI gold rush, and at the center of it is the hackathon. Um, and we ended up hiring some of Mr. Beast's old team, like some of the biggest people on Mr. Beast who like produce beast games. Cause in some ways this is almost like beast games for AI. Um, and we said, there's going to be, you know, I, I was, I was thinking, I was like, there's going to be so many interesting people who are going to apply to this hack, uh, into this hackathon build products, learn, go through the emotional roller coasters of the ups and downs of startup life. Um, and within 30 days come out as a different person. And I was like, I want to, I want to learn about those stories. Um, and these aren't like Stanford educated YC founders, like this is for everyone. And that's really interesting to me. So what are we doing? We're, we're documenting it. We're documenting it. And I'm going to be posting about these stories through the, through the documentary and millions of people are going to see some of the stories of people who participated in the Bolt Hackathon and what are they learning. And my hope is that this inspires millions of entrepreneurs to, to end up, you know, building using AI um, because I do believe that this is the you know greatest time in history to start a business. Totally agree. Totally agree. You know, someone's listening to this. Um, they want to get involved. Like, what do they need to know? Yeah, I, I, you really don't need to, you know, know have a, any background in software. Um, you know, to, to get involved, you just have to head over to hackathon.dev. You sign up. Um, it's free to sign up. Um, from that, you get a whole access to all these different tools like Bolt and Superbase, etc., that are part of the builder pack. Um, and on the site, we actually have all these in-person and virtual events that you can actually take part in. Um, you can choose which ones are like relevant to you that you want to go to. Uh, you know, there's different like learning sessions about how to build stuff with Bolt or how to market your app and things of that nature. There's also in-person meetups. You can actually meet up with other people that are building in person and that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, that's the, that's like the main, you know, really the main thing that uh, uh, you know. You, you know, as far as if you want to get involved, like going and actually being a part of the community and 
um, tuning into live streams and in-person events. And uh, we also have a Discord set up for this where you can chat with people in real time and yeah, just getting involved in building really cool things. A long time ago, I think it was in 2009, I did, uh, I don't know if you remember Startup Weekend. Yes, uh, I yeah, do. I remember that? Yeah. So I did a startup weekend, built a startup in 48 hours, and I got like matched to someone in my city I didn't know. And we ended up, you know, not only learning about how to build a startup in a weekend, but became, we ended up launching a business together. So I think wow. what's really cool about... Um, the IRL component of this is you're going to go to, let's say you live in Austin, you're in Austin, you end up meeting people who could be your future co-founders, who could be someone you start a business with. And I think like, that's so interesting. Like we, it's, it's one thing going and building by yourself and, you know, being on Zooms and being on X and stuff like that. But there's another thing about getting to know other people who are in the same boat as you and who you can, you know, potentially work with. Yeah, absolutely. And that's like, I think that's the mark of like, if you, if you throw really great hackathons, it's like, what are the startups or the, or the co-founder partnerships that began there? You know, like that's, that's like the, the, the highest praise you could ever have for, for something like this. And like, that's our, that's like my greatest hope is that, um, you know, folks, not only they just like, you know, learn how to use these tools, but also meet great people that change the trajectory of their, their professional and personal lives, right? Like that's, um, that's the magic of bringing great people all together at the same time. I think, you know, I think what's also cool. I think it's cool. I'm biased is cause I'm a judge, but like people like Peter levels, Jason Calcanis, these are people who are going to be reviewing what you're, wor- what you're working on. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and like, that's, uh, yeah, I, I agree. Like one of the things that I was, when we, you know, this whole thing came alive on Twitter, the idea of the hackathon, it's like all the different judges that, that got involved, you know, really off the bat. Um, we have an incredibly stacked judging panel, you know? And so them, you know, going through actually like reviewing these and, um, you know, giving their feedback and you, know, you have, you have like, you know, some of the best people in the business um, that are actually reviewing this stuff. And uh, that's, you know, it, how unique. I mean, that's, it's usually pretty tough to get a hold of any of these people, I think, um, you know, so it's what a, what an incredible opportunity. It's true. I'm not going to name names, but there's one person on the list that I've messaged and he just leaves me unread. <laughs> and I was like, how the hell did Eric get this guy to judge? Yeah. Um, so what, you know, what's, what's cool for people who are, you know, on the sidelines of uh, thinking about applying to the hackathon is one, you know, Eric might write you a check for a hundred thousand dollars. There's a million dollars plus of, of cash and prizes for people. So, you, you know, that's pretty sweet. That's one. That's number one. Yeah. Number two, number two is every person is going to get hundreds of dollars of free tools and credits um, to the, the best services for building stuff with AI today. For free. For free. For free. No, 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 absolutely no cost to them. Three, uh, you're going to, by the end of this hackathon, you're going to be way more sophisticated in terms of this whole new world that we're living in, you know, with, with tools like Bolt. Um, you're going to be a better product person. You're going to be a better designer. You're going to be a better, you know, almost like AI generalist because you're going to be you're going to care more, like forget about the, like the only reason to care about the prizes is it's going to force you to actually sit down and do the hard work. That is a great point. That is a great framing. Cause it, and it, cause it's really about learning and um, learning how to use these tools and actually make stuff. And hell, it, you, you can be walking out of here with a actual business, right? Um, that's incredible. And that's like, that's really the ultimate goal, you know? For, you're going to get judges that maybe you follow on X to review your work, which I think is cool. Yep, absolutely. And then five, you might meet your future co-founder and just interesting people in your city. So the fact that there's the local meetup uh, piece to this um, seems like that, you know, any one of these things makes, makes it worth it. But the fact that there's these five things compounded fires me up. Totally. 
And and and, and you put in, and then the, the final chair on top is that there's going to be a spotlight on so many people and all the stories of all these amazing people, um, both through the docu series that you're doing, Greg, and just you know we're we're going to be doing a lot of that ourselves in our own live streams, etc. But you know I think that that's just giving visibility into the amazing people that have great ideas that can build things, um, a lot of which many for the first time, you know, and that's you know that's what I'm 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 really fired up to see. If people want to sign up to the hackathon, where can they go? Yeah, to sign up, you just go over to hackathon.dev and click register. And I'll take you to the uh, the dev post page where you can go and sign up and get registered and you'll be ready to rock and roll. And how does someone find a local meetup? Yeah, so uh, I think on the on hackathon.dev, there is a link uh, where it says like find your local meetup. But you can also go to rvr.to slash bolt. Um, that has the full listing of all the in-person and online events um, that you can go to. And if you want to host your own too, there's actually a way for you to do that on that side as well. What do you think? Who do you think is going to be the youngest person to participate in this hackathon and the oldest person? <laughs> youngest? Probably, I, w- I would go with like seven years old. And then oldest? Oh man, this is, this is tough. I mean, I'll, I'll go like 80. I'll go 80. I think, I think that's like a reasonable yeah. range. <laughs> so you're seven to 80, you know, and I was going to say, yeah, if you're seven to 80, this is open to anyone. Anyone could join. It's going to be a lot of fun. You're going to learn a lot, maybe make some money, get some free tools. I'm excited to watch what happens. Um, the more people that uh, play with, with Bolt and and tools like this and this whole AI, uh, you know, taking your ideas and putting it out there space, the better. Um, thank you for doing this. Heck yeah, yeah. Th- thank you for thank you for being a uh, a great host of of the the hackathon, Greg. And super excited for the docu series and excited to see who wins this thing. This is gonna be this is gonna be fun. Absolutely, my man. All right, I'll catch you later. Awesome.